Welcome back to the channel. Today we are putting the NVIDIA RTX 5090 to the test with some of the state-of-art AI models for text-to-image or text-to-video generation. We will compare it side-by-side -side with the RTX 3090 to see how much of a performance boost you can expect. If you are curious about running large language models on the 5090, please check out my previous video. I'll link it in the description. Before we dive into the benchmarks, here is my setup and the PC spec, which has an Intel CPU and a system RAM of 48GB. The GPU is Astro 5090, which has 32GB of VRAM. For the operating system, I use the Linux Ubuntu 24.04. For the testing, I will be using the Comfy UI interface. If you are not familiar with it, please check out my previous video. For the models, I will be testing three of them. First one is Flux1.dev, which is a 12 billion parameter model which can be used to generate really photorealistic. Second one is Stable Diffusion 3.5, which can also generate high quality images. For the texture to video model, I will be using the Huanyuan video. Huanyuan video is a 13 billion parameter model. I think uh, the quality is amazing, but it requires lots of GPU computing. We will see how 5090 can improve it. Now let's quickly compare the specs between the 3090 and the 5090. For the 3090, it uh, still is powerful, however, it might be struggle with larger models. For the 5090, which is the latest uh, NVIDIA flagship GPU, it has uh, more scooters, it has higher VRAM and a faster memory bandwidth. Let's see how they compare with each other. Before we do the actual comparison, let's see how much VRAM and the power does 5090 use for running the flux.dev model. On the right side, there is a monitoring for the GPU and the RAM. We can see that it uses around 530 watts. VRAM is around 26 gigabytes. It's quite fast, about 8 to 9 seconds for 20 steps. From end to end, about 9.8 seconds to generate one image. Now let's do the actual comparison between 5090 and the 3090 GPUs. The first text is flux.dev, and we put them side by side. The left side is 5090, the right side is 3090. We use the same prompt for both sides. For the 5090, we see that it's generating the image very quickly, about 9 seconds for 20 step. For the right side, 3090, it also completes the image. The speed is 1.27 second per iteration. I think that's a huge difference. We compare them using the same unit. It's 2.14 versus 0.79. Do a simple calculation. It's a over 170% increase from 3090. As you can see right now, I'm doing another direct comparison. So the left side, you can see the moving of the progress bar versus the moving of the progress bar on the right side. I think that's a really big difference thanks to the advancement of the 1590 over 3090. Now let's look at our second test, Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. Similarly, left side is 1590, right side is 3090. We can see that the left side is already completes the image, which took about 8 seconds. Speed is 2.48 iteration per second. The right side is 1.1 second per iteration. Putting them onto the same unit, it's 2.46 versus 0.91. It's also a 170% increase. So we can see that uh, the, 
For texture to image, it seems it's quite consistent, about 170% increase regardless of the number of parameters for the model. For our final test, we will look at the Huanyuan video. Firstly, I want to show you how the 5090 performs in Huanyuan video. We can see the GPU and the CPU memory monitoring on the right panel. As you can see, it uses around 25.7 gigabytes of VRAM. The power usage is 545 watts. Temperature is 63 Celsius degree. Now let's compare 5090 with 3090 side by side. On the left side, 5090 has completed 20 steps of inferencing. Final time is 144 seconds for one video. On the right side, the 3090 is still working on generating the video. After 3 minutes, 3090 is almost uh, completing the job. We can see the speed is around 17.6 seconds for one iteration. Photo time for 20 steps is 5 minutes and 46 seconds. Wow, that's a big difference. Let's do some calculation to see how much of the difference it is. Converting them into the same unit, it's 0.162 iteration per second for 5090 versus 0.058 for 3090. That's a 180% increase. Wow, we can see that it's quite similar to the texture to image model. It's a little slightly bigger, 180% increase. All right. We have completed uh, all the three comparison. Here is a summary of all the results. We performed uh, three models for the Flux, Wang.dev, Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large, and uh, Huanyuan video. All of them have a very large number of parameters. They require lots of GPU computing. For 5090, we can see there is a very significant difference compared to the 3090. We can see a 170% increase for Flux or Stable Diffusion 3.5 and a almost 180% increase for Huanyuan video. If you use the GPU to run those models, I think you will definitely notice the difference and it can help you to iterate fast, to generate faster. Alright, I hope you find this video useful. Please let me know what do you think and what do you want to run on 5090 in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you. Goodbye.